Within this video, we're going to continue working through our lesson three student guide of the Rue Goldberg machines. And specifically, we're actually going to be working through this interface activity, Wedge and Melon. So of course, go ahead and follow along with this video. And you can, of course, follow along in the PDF as well. We're going to go ahead and start this nice and simple and go ahead and just press the play button up here at the top of the interface. And when we do that, we'll watch the watermelon actually fall into the funnel and fall off the side of the wedge. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move that wedge so that it will actually be directly underneath that funnel in the hopes of kind of getting some chaos effect and see which way this thing is going to actually fall. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are using the actual move tool, the move gizmo right here, and select the cheese down here below and just move it so it's pretty much directly below the funnel. So let's go ahead and hit the play button again. Let's see what happens. All right, so that time it actually went off to the left, but let's actually take this a little step further. You may have noticed that there is a little widget right here that says size. And if I grab that widget and using my move gizmo, I can go ahead and just size this in so it's nice and sharp. And what I'm actually doing is I'm going to be paying attention to this sharpness value over here. And if this sharpness value is higher than 0.8, something interesting is actually going to be happening. So let's go ahead and hit the play button and see if we can get it to happen this time. Ooh, interesting. So now we know that if that cheese is sharp enough, it will actually cut through that watermelon.